Hey Sounders fans, Brad Evans here and I am with Laura Kleiss of Intentionalist and we are doing a food tour of Seattle in build up to our 2022 schedule release. It's, it's really good. good. Diverse local restaurants are the heart and soul of our communities. Are you ready to spend like it matters? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so good to see you. Very good to see you. Taste of the Caribbean is the only authentic Jamaican restaurant here in Seattle. We pride ourselves in a fully authentic menu with spices and everything curated from the Caribbean. We want to say we are the curators of good vibes because we also have the Red Lounge with Caribbean music. So come for the food and stay for the vibes. Hi, hello. Hello. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you guys. We came to Seattle in 82. At that time, there was nothing from El Salvador here in, in Washington State. We wanted to share what we used to do in El Salvador, which is baking and cooking. Alex. Yeah, everybody in El Salvador knows Seattle Sanders because of him and because of us. I think Alex is going to be the next president of El Salvador. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. It's not impossible. It's, po it's, it's possible. possible. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Hello. Yan is a very cool bubble tea shop. The biggest benefit is stay away from aging. That's why we name it Yang Tea. <laughs> you already look very young. <laughs> right, we want to reduce the use of the plastic straw, so we come up with this very cool reusable stainless straw. Traditionally, you want to pop the straw in there. Okay. So welcome to Phnom Penh Noodle House. We are two of the three sisters behind the restaurant, but our parents um, immigrated from Cambodia in 1987 as refugees and opened the restaurant. Oh, it's so good. Whatever you give to the community, you in turn get it back. So the more you give, the more you get. Like it's this full circle karma. Why haven't I had this before? Hey guys, how y'all doing? This business was started up about five years ago for my brother. You trust like this is the passion of his and mine. We were always in the kitchen cooking with my abuela, watching her cook in the morning times and in the afternoons, learning things from her. Me and Kev picked up a couple of tips and uh, decided to flip the script a little bit and add our own little flair to it. Uh, well, my grandfather's from Louisiana. He came up here looking for a piece of catfish and um, he couldn't find it, so he started his own thing. And, you know, and I felt like it was my job as a grandson to bring this business back to the Central District, to the heart where the business started off at. I started off as a dishwasher here, so being an owner now, I don't miss every step to get here, so it's a dream come true for me for sure. We got work to do. <laughs> we got work to do, yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, well, welcome to Umami Kushi and our cafe store, if you will, that's a celebration of our Okazu Ponds. The Okazu Ponds are basically, it's a small, savory pastry. We start with a fresh made dough, and they all have different savory fillings. Lord. You're a bad man. Obviously being in Japan helped me to really get a better understanding of Japanese style cuisine. The appreciation for the focus that they put on every specific item that they make. Wow. That's unbelievable. Monica, so good to see you. Sitangu is a bakery and cafe. We mostly sell empanadas. Uh, empanadas is a hand pie from Argentina. Every day we make fresh empanadas. I'm gonna run to the next location because mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to burn this off. So we're here at our cafe located at the Burke Museum. We serve native indigenous food, fry bread and lots of different indigenous dishes like wild rice, bison. Marcus Blackfeet from the Blackfeet Reservation. His mom grew up on the res. So are the recipes family recipes? A lot you... of them are family recipes. A lot of them. Some are recipes that we kind of tweak into our own twist on. And to be an official Sounders fan, <laughs> you need a scarf, of course. <laughs> and then you got to have your home jersey in the rave room. Yay! First Sounders gear. Love it. <laughs> 